and today we're going to be running through some of the web's most asked questions. Beep. <laughs> 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 Who's Googling his questions, by the way? No, <laughs> You're not letting me know. Was Virgil van Dijk a goalkeeper? What's up guys, I'm here at Liverpool FC with SC Johnson and Virgil van Dijk and Andy Robertson. And today we're gonna to be running through some of the web's most asked questions and we're gonna see what the guys have to say. So guys, are you ready? Ready. First ready. up, why does Andy wear number 26? Oh, good question. It was one of the lowest numbers available at Dundee United when I first moved there. So I took it and it didn't really mean much to me then. But, and then everything kind of so happened since that it all falls on the 26th, like my son being born, things like that. So the numbers get more and more important to me as life went on. But when I first took it, it didn't really mean much to me, to be fair. Amazing answer. Right, Virgil. What did Virgil van Dijk want to be at school? A football player. <laughs> oh, nah, I never knew that. I never knew that. Who's, go <laughs> who's, who's Googling his questions, by the way? <laughs> Does Andy Robertson have siblings? Yeah, I've got one, one big brother. Did he play? He was uh, a fox in the box. He was more a goal scorer, but he didn't want to move. He didn't want to run with it. So the ball came in the box, he would head it in, but the running part of football let him down. And that's why got ya. he's probably not sitting here. That's the one bit that definitely doesn't let you down. <laughs> right. If Virgil van Dijk wasn't a footballer, what would he be? I've got no clue, you know. I've what, got no clue. Any other passions or interests? No, in no, no. I was focused on football and I was just hoping to make it. Like yeah. any other young, boy that was in the academy and yeah i never thought about anything else good debate on that where yeah should, no, should, should anyone ever have a plan b because a lot of them you should elite performers no no you should have a plan yeah. b but you didn't yeah that's why i, I, I got kids now and then obviously I, I i tell them and yeah. teach them to have a plan b as well with, yeah. with everything in. if someone told you to have a plan b when you were younger would you have listened <laughs> <laughs> no, <not after> that <laughs> one. <laughs> <laughs> right, Andy. What was Andy Robertson's first job? I worked in Marks and Spencers. Nice. Yeah. What was it a petrol station? <laughs> 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 I was putting hey, through. So good, I was putting through people's like Percy pigs and that. And the, yeah, yeah. Well done to you, man. I was like my when I was at school. Mom and Dad said like six weeks leading up to Christmas, like get yourself a job. You, you know, still get discount at Mark Spencer though. Yeah, ten percent. Yeah, nice. Not anymore. Not anymore. No, no. Like, no, they messaged me after the Champions League final once actually, but um, not anymore. But yeah, that was my first job for about six, seven weeks. I think I had it. That's sick. Imagine the amount of people that got served by you and didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Was Virgil Van Dijk a goalkeeper? Nope. <laughs> Never. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Right, that's that that be a question. <laughs> I think it's the, the physique. It's the oh. presence. How tall is Virgil van Dijk? 6'4". Andy, what position did Andy Robertson play as a kid? Striker. Striker. Is Virgil van Dijk left-footed? Sometimes. Sometimes. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm right-footed. Uh, last couple. Who is Andy Robertson's best friend in football? Oh, Virgil van Dijk. <laughs> I thought of the one. There'll be a few people annoyed at that. <laughs> Guys, last question. Do you recycle? Yes. Yes. Me too. Love that. Guys, why did I ask that question? It's because of Liverpool's amazing partnership with SC Johnson, where they are upcycling plastic all around Anfield. So if you find yourself at Anfield, look for an SC Johnson bin and upcycle your plastic. Guys, thank you so much thank for your you. time. Really enjoyed this video. No, appreciate and, uh, it. And we've still got more questions, so maybe if we do it again next time, we'll uh, run through the, the, the last questions. <laughs> thank you very much, guys.